South Africa produces around 60,000 tons of household waste daily at unpermitted landfill sites. Systems are being developed to reduce the waste volumes currently disposed of at landfill facilities. Programs to reduce, reuse and recycle waste are in line with international trends. Despite these efforts, landfills will remain the final destination for the vast majority of waste types generated by the consumer and industry in the foreseeable future. Disposal of waste to landfill, however, can no longer follow historical dump it in a hole practices. Strict legislation to ensure protection of the environment has radically changed the way modern landfill facilities are designed, constructed and operated. Interwaste's FG Landfill Facility is situated in the industrialized area of Olifantsfontein, midway between Johannesburg and Pretoria, and receives waste from all regions in South Africa. The facility is at the cutting edge of modern sanitary landfill engineering and complies with the latest legislative requirements. It is an 18,001 accredited facility and the only one to hold the TUV International Quality Standard. International standards for best practices incorporated at FG set the benchmark for all future landfill facilities, integrating technological advances that anticipate the future tightening of environmental protection legislation. FG Landfill consistently ranks as one of the best operational waste disposal facilities in the country. A composite liner is a composition of individual layers of different material placed on top of each other to create an impermeable layer or containment barrier. The barrier system separates the waste from the in situ soil and prevents possible contamination of groundwater sources. These phases are then interconnected with leakage and leachate drainage systems to monitor any groundwater pollution and collect leachate generated from these landfilling activities. Precise engineering of the cell base and site slopes are critical to provide stability for the safe and efficient operation of the phases. Leachate is produced as rainwater infiltrates the body of waste and finds its way to the base of the cell. Collection and management of leachate is a critical aspect of landfill design to prevent any contamination of local groundwater. FG Landfill's leachate dam has been covered with a 12-ton high-density polyethylene liner, capturing any possible gases, which are then managed through the landfill gas management system. Once waste is received and weighed, the waste is directed to the working phase and placed on top of the barrier system in layers of at least 2 meters thick, compacted with a landfill compactor to the highest possible density and covered with a layer of earth to mitigate odors and other nuisances. The landfill site is then built up in these layers of waste and covered daily until it reaches its final design height according to the approved end-use model before it is capped and rehabilitated. All operations at FG are conducted to an operational plan and finally an end-use plan. FG Landfill is licensed for the collection and utilization of methane gas. Methane gas is a greenhouse gas that is generated in huge volumes as the waste body naturally decomposes. Sophisticated collection systems can, however, be designed into the cell to enable the gas to be extracted and utilized in the production of green energy. Even if specific site conditions are not conducive to commercially viable methane harvesting, provision must still be made to allow the gas to be vented or flared to prevent the buildup of methane gas within the landfill and the release of odors. All cells will eventually come together to create a natural landform that will undergo complete capping and rehabilitation to prevent water ingress into the site and minimize leachate generation. The overall site development plan of the FG facility includes a comprehensive stormwater management system to collect and channel natural runoff through engineered drainage channels into a series of lined storage dams and ponds. This water is either used on site naturally evaporates or is allowed to run off after careful water quality monitoring. Within a short period, indigenous vegetation will take over and fauna and flora will reproduce.
The site will be closely monitored for decades after closure to guard against any water or ground pollution and to control gas emissions from the waste body below. Construction can never be done on the site, but it can be used as a natural recreation area with safe walking and cycling trails and other sporting facilities. This is the Interwaste way of doing the right thing.